Ladies and gentlemen, I promise you I'm not clickbaiting. This Sten is actually a two-shot kill. So the Sten was actually secretly buffed in the Season 3 update. I don't know why they didn't put it in the patch notes, but it did get buffed. It was a damage buff. With that said, you can literally kill the enemies in two shots. This thing is so broken. With that said, I got you guys a broken, nasty, insane gameplay. You guys gotta watch. I dropped a V2 rocket well over 100 kills. Absolutely insane. You guys have to watch to see what this Sten can do. Shout out to these cuties right here. I appreciate you guys leaving those comments. If you guys want a shout out in my next video leave a comment saying you know just leave your favorite emoji just leave a comment of your favorite emoji here's an overview of the class i was using in today's banger gameplay then for the secondary we got the rap pistol and here's an overview in case you guys want to take a screenshot for the perks we got the fortify because it's literally like the fourth of july but year round in this game there is so many explosives so i like to do the fortifier to protect me from them what i also like to do is the survival training this is going to protect me from those stuns sometimes you know there's just way too many stuns and if there is i just run that survival training what you guys can also run i didn't know this but dauntless is actually going to protect you from piercing vision so if you are getting shot behind walls a ton the enemies probably have piercing vision and so i recommend throwing on dauntless it's gonna hide you from that i think for the second perk if i'm going for those v2 rockets or just trying to get a high kill game i'll usually run the ford intel because it's gonna show me where the enemies spawn which is so helpful in this game because these spawns are horrible like the spawns are literally like polka dots they spawn on all sides of you what you can also do is the piercing vision this one's pretty overpowered because all you have to do is shoot near the enemy and it's gonna scan them giving you wall hacks lastly for the third perk because we were pretty aggressive in the gameplay we were just blowing through ammo and blowing Blowing through enemies, that sounds kind of bad, but we are running the scavenger to make sure we have ammo. For the first attachment on the Sten, make sure you guys run the M1929 silencer if you want a suppressor. If you don't want a suppressor, run the recoil booster, but if you want a suppressor, run this one because it's going to add a lot of horizontal and we're only going to be losing ADS speed. And the ADS speed on this weapon is pretty quick. Previously, I would run the Mercury silencer, but the damage range, there's pretty much zero damage range on this weapon, so it's not the best at range, but trust me, this thing is super good and you guys need to try it out. Say you guys run the recoil booster. So there will be a little bit more recoil but you can kill the enemies about six percent quicker and so it's pretty worth it in my opinion for the barrel because all the other barrels suck ass you want to use the sa 65 mm rapid this can increase that fire by 19 percent so you can kill the enemies 19 percent faster with that said we are losing a lot of our sprint to fire speed and our horizontal recoil control but we're going to be throwing on attachments that's going to compensate that for the optic i really recommend you guys to try out the sa 32s this is just going to increase the ads speed by two percent and it gives you a very clean iron sight say you don't really like the iron sight try out the hawkinson i think this one's horrible but who knows you might like it what you guys can also try is the slate reflector this is probably the cleanest best sight in the game for the stock just to add some recoil control to the weapon because so far we have zero recoil control you want to increase that so we are going to be running the hawkinson padded plus on top of that we get some flinch resistance which is going to help us win more gunfights because the enemy is going to shoot at us and then we're going to flinch less and so we can hit more shots on the enemy plus on top of that we're going to get some movement speed and so we're going to feel like usain bolt on the field but we are losing a lot of our hit fire accuracy and sprint to fire speed which is kind of annoying with that said we are using attachments that's going to compensate that besides the hit fire accuracy you just got to take the loss to that for the proficiency i was actually an idiot and i was running the slide of hand you actually want to run the frenzy momentum or the gung-ho for the gung-ho it's going to make it so we can run and then instantly go into the fire but if you like the slide cancel it makes the gun feel super weird so if you don't slide cancel run the gung-ho for the frenzy this is going to be very good if you like to rush because after you kill the enemy it's going to regenerate your health so if you see a lot of enemies in front of you and you kill one of them it's going to be a little bit easier to kill the rest for the momentum this is going to give you a massive speed boost after every kill this is super fun to use this is actually my favorite one to use on the sten for the kit just to increase that overall movement speed i like to do the quick or the fully loaded if i know if I notice I'm running out of ammo. For the rear grip, because we got a lot of recoil control, now we gotta make sure we have zero initial recoil because the initial shots are the most important shots. With that said, we are gonna be running the stipple grip tape. It's gonna add a lot of initial recoil, and so you should be able to beam the enemies right when you fire the weapon. On the magazine, previously I'd do the Granico, but now with the damage buff to the stand, you wanna do the 50 round mag. With the 50 round mag, if you shoot the enemies in the non-vital areas, it's gonna be a four shot to kill. If you shoot them in the vital areas, it's gonna be a three to two shot kill. Then you want a consistent three shot kill no matter where you shoot the enemies use the 0.45 acp 20 round fast mag but there are a lot of cons and i just i really don't like this magazine even with the fast mags and so i recommend sticking to the 50 round mag for the two shots then like i put in the title and the intro you know i kind of click baited but not really because if you go over to the barrel and then you use the uh, i believe it's the hawkinson this is going to increase that vital damage to 87 the sten will do 87 damage to the vital areas if you run the hawkinson that's kind of overpowered 
overpowered, but this barrel isn't that good. And I recommend just running, you know, the rapid barrel instead. For the ammo, make sure you guys are running the hollow point or the lengthen. So the bolt velocity is horrendous on this weapon. Same with that damage range. Those are the two biggest cons of the Sten is the effective damage range and the bolt velocity. But because that effective damage range is so poorly, sometimes if you shoot the enemies in the limbs at range, it's going to take five to six shots. But if you run the hollow point, pretty sure it's going to be a consistent four shot kill up to like long range. And so if you want that consistent four shot kill wherever you shoot the enemy, use the hollow point. If you just want to increase that bolt velocity, making the gun feel a little bit better, do the lengthen. Lastly, on the under barrel, we are going to be doing the carver foregrip. This is going to improve the hitbox accuracy that we are losing. Lastly, on the under barrel, you want to do the carver foregrip. This is going to increase that hitbox accuracy that we are losing with the other attachments. And then we get some recoil control, allowing us to beam the enemies a little bit easier. With that said, we are losing some ADS speed, but you guys will see in the gameplay, the gun is pretty snappy, and so it shouldn't be a problem. What you guys can also do if you want to increase that sprint to fire speed and you can control the recoil, try out the SMLE pistol grip. This is going to do just that, but we, you know, we are going to have less recoil control. Lastly, what you guys can also do if you want a balance between the vertical and the horizontal recoil control without losing ADS speed, use the hand stop. Here's an overview of the new best Sten class setup in Vanguard. Ladies and gentlemen, I know I'm playing DOS Hots a lot. I really don't want to play on it, but literally, I can't get a game plan in any other map like I can. But for some reason, there's just sweaties. And then if I don't go into the Mayhem or DOS Hots playlist, I only get Castle. I don't know why. Like, I really don't want to play on Castle, and that's the only map I get. Like, if you guys watch my Cooper Carbine video, the first gameplay on there was uh, was Castle because I just kept getting that map. I don't know what's up with their matchmaking, but it's not rotating the maps properly. And so it's really hard to get a gameplay on Castle with the Sten. And so that's why we're on DOS Haas. Hopefully, you guys are watching this. That means I got my gameplay. But yeah, so I'm trying to mix it up. It's just literally the game doesn't rotate maps. And I'm assuming you guys have ran into that same issue. Okay, let's see if we can pop off with this newly buffed stem. Oh my god, that guy was on fire. Okay, I was trying to slide under their shots and come up behind them, but it did not work at all. Whoa, okay, my teammates might actually just destroy them with the hard point. Like, the game might end really quick. Hopefully not, though. There we go. We actually got a kill with the gammon. This guy's going for long shots or something. Wrong game mode, buddy. That guy's on fire. There we go. This thing's actually so fun to use. It feels like a brand new weapon. Okay, we cannot challenge that. There's too many of them. Let's see if we can hit them from a different angle. There we go, boys. Oh, that guy's going for those long shots again. Got a guy over here. Let's reload. One thing I don't like about the Sten is that the magazine takes up a lot of your screen. Like when you tax sprint. Oh, dude, I got so confused. I didn't know where anyone was at. At least we got the doggos. Let's call those in. If you guys are watching this, I got the nuke. I really want a nuke today. Unless, if I got like 150 kills, you guys are watching this like with that, but... The goal is the new. Stop going for long shots in this mode. It's the worst mode to go for long shots in. Unless you just naturally play like that, bud. They're spawning on both corners of us. I feel like I like board intel in this game is a must. What are you doing? Snizzed? Oh my god, nice, nice little movement, the sh movement. Dude, Sniz is OP. He's the best player I've ever seen in my life. Sniz is cracked. Every player that just sits in the corner like Big Ken, he doesn't even know what he's doing at all. He's cracked. Okay, all the enemies in this game are pretty bad. They all kind of remind me of like cheeseburgers. Come challenge me. Come on. You know you want to. You know you want to challenge daddy. Oh, dude, that's so messed up to put them all right there. Oh, 
Dude, the stun. Do you see how fast it's killing the boys? It is so weird to use the stun right now. You guys definitely got to try this gun out. Like, what the heck? This is the stun, boys. The stun is doing this. Doggos roll out. Dude, what was that? The flinch. Just do it. I, I'm telling you guys, this has actual powers. Dude, this thing is so easy to use too. Like zero recoil. Oh, go, 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 go. There's too many of them. That'd be cool if the trophy system could block like um mortar strikes. That'd be awesome. Oh, Snooze is on fire. God, you're okay. I mean, you're AFK. I don't think he's okay. Dude, why? How do you know I'm over here? Dude, he's just gonna challenge me over and over. Dude, Sniss, he threw a stun, slid into me. Crack player. Oh, that was horrible. What am I doing? No, no, no. You guys gotta move. You guys gotta move. Come on. 24. Well, one more kill for the nuke. If I get this, you guys gotta leave a like. And we got the nuke, boys. Oh my gosh. Leave a like for that. Let's freaking go. Nuke with the buff sten. I wish I could mix up the, like the maps. You know, DOS Haas is pretty boring. But literally, the game doesn't rotate the maps for me at all. Dude, the sten's broken. What is this? Dude, the sten is so good now. Jesus. Who are you? Boys, I can't wait for Modern Warfare 2. Like, I'm counting down the days. I am so excited. Like, now that I'm 21 years old... Oh my god, we're actually about to win this. Gotta make sure I call on this. Now that I'm 21 years old, you know, I don't want to count down the days because I don't want to get older. Like, I hit 21, you know, I capped out, I don't want to get older. But I just want Modern Warfare and I will be good. I just want to be an old man playing Modern Warfare. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, the Sten is OP. Okay, it's not actually OP, OP. It feels balanced now. This is the way that the Sten should have felt from maybe day one. Let's go, boys. Wonder how many kills we got? Maybe 127, that's what I'm guessing. Didn't really feel like that much, but you know, it's Doss Haas. We got the nuke and everything, probably 127. 120, I will take it, boys. Let's go. If you're new, you know, subscriptions greatly appreciated. Get nuked, motherfuckers.